ניסים פרשה, פרשה משפטים, פרשה משפטים, סקול אבוז, ניתן גם על סיני, על סקול פרשה, פרשה ניצרו, על פרשה משפטים, על סקול אדם בחדר, what a person should do with his friend, או אורוז, על אדם and his friend, they will come out from our Sinai, except in the Torah, the consequence of that is become more sensitive toward other people, how to deal with them, how to talk with them, how to do things, that is expression of Sinai, but of times people think, what's expression of our Sinai, you know, to the Mahmi and this Indian and that Indian, but Torah is telling us the real point of an expression of our Sinai is to deal with your friends, with your family, how to deal with them, how to talk with them, how to behave. But it's an interesting Parashah in Torah that Torah goes and talks about the info ish et vitola amok. If a person sells his daughter as a slave woman, as a maid servant, slave woman, then Torah says that's the rules, and Torah protects her very much, and Torah says that what he could do to her, what he cannot, and if he takes her for a wife, that's to make sure to treat her as a normal wife, should not say that I just bought her, I could do whatever that I want. Now, the world, world wonders that why did Torah say that the man could serve his daughter? How can you do that? Why Torah says something like that? And then Torah say something very interesting. When you look at the apostle, when the apostle is talking about she ish et vitola ama, Torah said, when self person and man is daughter the um. Now the question of what it is that if it is Vito, it is his daughter, who is this man? This man is a the father. Therefore Torah should have said he am a Vito Amo. When a father says his daughter as a slave woman, Torah doesn't say that. Torah says a man. Why did the why did Torah call father a man? He's a father, it's not a man. He got each that we touch that they keep got other people. See, the way that God talks, God tells us the essence of what he's talking about. In reality, a father never sells his daughter. A father never and ever should sell his daughter. But if he doesn't have the sensitivity of a father, if he doesn't have love and kindness of a father to his daughter, it's a man. He's a stranger. He's a stranger to this daughter. He doesn't care for her. He doesn't act like a father, like a loving father to this daughter. Now, Torah is recognizing that if this father is not the right father with love and caring, the foster home is better than his father. Foster home is better. A lot of times we sing. Foster homes terrible as well. But Torah is recognizing if this man doesn't act like a father, is a stranger, it's dangerous to this father. It's dangerous. Because this father would have expectation, this father would feel secure by him, would feel a lot of a lot of feelings that the daughter should have toward father. But this father is not acting like that, it's very dangerous. It creates deprivation for the daughter. It makes the daughter to lose her security and stability. And this daughter, later on in her life, would have problem how to deal with the husband. Because don't forget, the first confrontation that the daughter has with the male is the father. When the daughter has a good relationship with the father, she could find a good relationship with the husband also. When a father doesn't get along, when a daughter doesn't get along with the father, that causes problems with the dealing with the husband and future future wife. Therefore, here the Torah is recognizing that a man that sells his daughter is not a father. And once he doesn't act like a father, foster home is better than this home. Now we may tell the rabbi, now in this time, who sells his daughter? Nobody says his daughter. Nobody says his daughter. Who says his daughter? Then why are we talking about it? That's not true. Torah is telling us a lot of times people sell their own children. What does selling 
selling means that I'm, I'm doing something not for the profit of the child, yes, I'm gaining, I'm having profit. When a child wants to get married and the parents with the not right decision, not right judgment, just because of their own biasness or their own fantasy that they are living in, they don't let the daughter marry, that is selling the daughter. When the child has a need to go to school to a certain place, and the parents, because of their own dignity, they are covered, they don't want to do that. They say no, they put things under the carpet and they send the child in a school or place that's not good for him. And it ruins his life, that's telling the dog. When uh, people, they, they want to get into a family that they feel is dignity for them and they force the child to marry with the force, that's telling the dog. Whenever that we do something that the sole beneficiary is not the child, and we are doing it for our own benefit, we are selling our children. Therefore, Torah is telling us when a person does that, he loses the license of being a father, he becomes a ish. Turns over from being a father to stranger, to ish to people. Whenever that we don't consider what's the best for our children and we do things for our own benefit, for our own self-interest that we are selling our daughter and we are turning from being the father to center. That's why this parasha is very relevant. I think that if you write this parasha, the golden letter and hang in the show this week, that everyone should be aware what's the responsibility of a father. And a father is not just the labor. Father brings fatherhood, brings the love, education, and interest of the children to be the primary thing that the father is thinking and behaving in the family.